This video, we're going to go over the navigation of the Canva mobile app. If you don't know that much about Canva, Canva is an online graphic design tool. They have a free version and they have a pro version. And the pro version is very affordable. Uh, but if you're new to it, try the free version. I did the free version for a couple years. It was great. I was able to do quite a bit. But the pro version obviously does have more features. And for a small monthly fee, you can enjoy those additional features. Um, so getting back to this, we want to open up our Canva app. And when you first open it up, there is a login and you log in with your username and password, and then it'll bring you up to this home screen. At the very top is your search field. You can search for a template, or maybe you have a sea of images like I do, and you're trying to remember a post that you did or an image that you created about four to six months ago, and you knew it was about apples. So, But you can type in apples, and it will find anything you made that had Apple in the title, and you can find it. So, and below that search bar are categories. So you have like whiteboard, so it's different whiteboard templates. Here's your different social media templates. You have presentations, videos, and if you scroll, you've got printed materials, websites, and a whole lot more. This first one is for you. After using the app or using the online tool for a while, It'll get to know you. It'll get to know which, which templates you use the most. And it will uh, recommend it and give you some recommendations of maybe some new ones you may want to try based off the content that you've done. Below it is your recent design. So again, if you have uh, many images that you've created, it'll give you your recent ones. Or you can just scroll through and you'll see all the different templates as you scroll through. So now going to the recent, I'm just going to go to my first one. Now this is a YouTube thumbnail, okay, that I was, that I've been working on. Uh, so we'll kind of play on it a little bit. So at the very top you have a little house at your home screen that'll take you back to your home. You've got an undo button, you'll have a redo button, you have the three dots, which is going to give you your title where you can edit it. You can have different views. You can show your margins. And this is where you also save your work. Where the three rectangles are, this is a powerful tool within Canva where you can resize your image. So let's say you're creating an Instagram image. You can resize it to a Facebook or to a Pinterest and basically have... Uh, the same design across multiple platforms, which is very powerful. And then here you can download and here you can share it to social media accounts. So you can connect your Facebook, your Instagram account directly to Canva, create an image and load it up to your social media account. Wham, bam, you got it out there. So you want to create something. You have here uh, your your image and this plus sign down here in the bottom left. This is where you're going to add elements. And when I say elements, I say that kind of loosely because there's elements like graphic images like stickers and uh, graphic lines and shapes and things like that. Or you can add text. And, you know, so like if I select the text here, you can add the text. And once you add the text on here, you'll have these different options where you can edit the text or you can select a whole different font and they have a list of fonts here. Or you can do change your font size. Or you can change your font color, the formatting, the spacing, which is horizontally and vertically. Um, you can add animation, you can make it more transparent, or you can reposition it to be on top of other elements or behind it. If you select an image, same type of thing. You can add effects, you can add a filter, you can crop it, you can flip it, you can add transparency. So there's a lot of different options that you can do right in the app. Once you're complete, this is where you can hit the share 
And when you hit the share, this is where you're going to share it to your social media accounts. Or you can hit the download, or if you can hit the download right here. And when you hit the download, it'll go right into your phone's gallery where you can text it out, you can email it out to your folks, whatever you need to do. And that's essentially about it. It's a gr This was a great little brief overview of the Canva app and how to navigate through it. It's very simple. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. The YouTube gods really like that. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you.